Hello everyone, welcome to the video series on MCQ answer explanation. Now let us see the questions. The first one is drugs that act by releasing nitric oxide. Examples are sodium nitroprusside, nitroglycerin, nicorandel, all of the above. Now understand the concept. Drugs which release nitric oxide activate cyclic GMP and causes vasodilation. So blood vessels will get dilated, so blood pressure can get decreased or blood flow to a particular organ is increased. So all these drugs, sodium nitroprusside, nitroglycerin, nicorandol, all of them act by releasing nitric oxide. Nitroprusside is used to treat hypertension. Nitroglycerin, nicorandol are used to treat angina pectoris. In both of them, uh, nitroprusside reduces blood pressure, so it can be used in hypertensive emergencies. Nitroglycerin is used to treat acute angina pectoris. Nicorandel also used to treat angina pectoris. So the answer is all of the above. Now let us see the next question. The effect of 1.5% sodium chloride IV infusion on RBC is. So the question is someone has got infused with 1.5% sodium chloride and what happens to RBC? Options are RBC swells, RBC crenates, RBC agglutinates, RBC remains as such. Understand the concept. 0.9% sodium chloride is isotonic with blood plasma. You are giving 1.5% means hypertonic. You are giving hypertonic solution. When hypertonic solution is given, what happens is in the red blood cell, uh, the osmotic gradient is low. The outside IV infusion osmotic gradient is high. So the uh, cytosolic water moves from RBC to exterior. So what happens? The cell size shrinks. It, it gets a notched surface appearance and that is called as crenation. So option B, RBC crenates is the answer. When you do hypotonic solution, less than 0.9% sodium chloride solution, then what happens? The exterior uh, salt concentration is low, whereas inside RBC, the concentration of salt is high. Then the exterior water gets into the RBC. Then what happens? Cell swells. RBC swells is for hypotonic solution. RBC agglutination occurs when incompatible blood transfusion occurs. So here the option is hypertonic solution RBC crenates. Option B is the answer. Let us see the next question. Now which of the following has minus 0.52 degrees freezing point? Options are 0.9% sodium chloride, 5% dextrose, option C A and B, option D is 95% ethanol. Understand the concept. See blood plasma TS freezes at minus 0.52 degrees centigrade. So any solution which freezes at the same temperature is isotonic with blood plasma and TS. Now 0.9% sodium chloride, 5% dextrose are isotonic solution. That means they also freezes at 0.52 degrees centigrade. So they are isotonic with blood plasma and TS. They can be easily transfused. Understand this one. When someone has got dehydration, normal saline is infused. Normal saline is 0.9%. Why 0.9%? Because it is isotonic, it will not cause any irritation or any problems to human body. Similarly, 5% dextrose is given. Why? Because it is isotonic with human body solutions. So these two has got similar freezing point as blood plasma and water that is minus 0.52 degrees centigrade. What is the option then? Option C, A and B is the answer. Let us move on to the next question. Arrange the following in correct sequence of order. There are certain diseases are given, you need to arrange them in order. Now, what are the options? Myocardial infarction, atherosclerosis, angina pectoris, death. Understand the process. See, when red blood, cell, red blood cells are accumulated with LDL, low density lipoprotein, blood flow to the heart is blocked. Usually it happens to coronary arteries. Hence it is called as coronary artery disease. So what happens is when coronary arteries has got LDL deposition, that particular condition is known as atherosclerosis. Now, when this block is there, that is atherosclerosis. This is disease, uh, uh, coronary artery disease. Because of this, heart is not getting enough blood supply. And then heart gives pain. That is called as angina pectoris. So what is the first event? Atherosclerosis. What is the next event? Pain in the chest. That is angina pectoris. If it aggravates, if, if angina is converted to unstable angina or complete platelets block the blood flow, blood supply to the heart is completely blocked. That is called myocardial infarction. Death of myocardial cells. And finally, what happens? Death of human being. So when you see the diseases, it all starts with atherosclerosis. Lipid accumulation goes to angina pectoris. See, the accumulation of lipid and causing pain is called a stable angina. Unstable angina is where platelet also accumulate and causes 100% block. That results in myocardial infection. Finally, death of human being. So the sequence is, first one is atherosclerosis, option B, and then angina pectoris, C, and then myocardial infection, and then death, PCAD. 
understand the pathophysiological sequence. Now the last one, dextran is, what is dextran? Options given are derived from leuconostic mesenteroides, branched glucon, dehydrated glucose, all of the above. Now dextran is a plasma substitute. When people lose plasma during burns, the plasma leaks up. Then a plasma substitute is given, that is what is dextran. Dextran is available as dextran 40, dextran 70. Now what is it? It is derived from a bacteria called leuconostic mesenteroides. It is a branched glucan. Glucan is nothing but dextrose. Polymer of dextrose. The same. Dehydrated glucose. See, dextran is made up of when glucose is removed of a water molecule. That is dehydrated glucose. So all of them fits for dextrose. It is derived from leuconostic mesenteroides. It, is, it contains branched glucan and it is dehydrated glucose. So all of the above is the answer. All the best.